So we're not talking about one night stands, but if we were, it is possible to have an amazing evening with someone without even really knowing them well. But when it comes to long-term relationship and sex with the person you live with and have created a life with, emotional intimacy is a prerequisite. And so in a way, in the context of long-term relationships and marriage, anything that isn't sex can be looked at as foreplay because it's either bringing you closer together or moving you further apart. So one of the most important things to really heat things up in the bedroom is to focus on the emotional intimacy and the sense of connection throughout the day before you even get to the bedroom, because that's either paving the way or creating blocks that need to be attended to before great sex can happen. So what does that look like to you then? Creating the intimacy throughout the day. So I'm looking at him like a man, like, ooh, look at this man. What, how do I start that even? Like, what are the, is there, I don't know, do I, I don't know, how would I do that? How do I look at him like a man and not like this guy who's been in my life for the past 10 years? And how do you look at him differently? The first step is how you orient to yourself. You need to connect with yourself as a woman beyond all the services you provide to your husband and family to really feel like you deserve pleasure. You don't have to earn it. It's just your right as an alive woman. And when you can access that in yourself, then it's actually pretty simple to look at him that way. If you're aiming to look at him that way as like a thing you're supposed to do, it's not going to work. It's exactly when I asked my question, everything that you've said up to this point for the last 10 minutes or so is exactly what I was looking for, actually. It was really good. I'll probably watch this interview like a few times. It's just even from a guy perspective, I think it would help me as a man as well, or any man watching this to help them to have those same types of things going on and thoughts towards their wife as well. Because I think men could also get into the routine of work, home, ESPN, or whatever they watch, and then kind of ignoring the wife and the kids. And it's just kind of like whatever. And I don't want men to get into that rut as well, where they're not even pursuing their spouse or hanging out with their kids or whatever that looks like. So it's been fantastic. I think that's so important, Vince, because men often have a sense of value based on what they can provide. Feeling this way doesn't come with providing. It's just like, you know, it's much more a state of being than yeah. a state of doing. And it, sure, it is beneficial to have a purpose and be a good provider and be in shape, but none of those things are what makes feeling, feeling, uh, you know, like you need to really um, see your value beyond what you produce. And I think that is a big challenge for a man who's, who still needs to produce, but to not see his value as restricted to that. 